Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. Today, Apple just released iOS 16 Developer Beta 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's new. First up, inside of settings, we have a completely new mode. So this is called Lockdown Mode. So it lives inside of Privacy and Security Settings. It's all the way at the bottom, as you can see here underneath Security. So if we click on it, you can see it's uh, kind of a mouthful. It says lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe you may be personally targeted for a highly sophisticated cyber attack. So it does say that most people are never targeted by attacks of this nature. So I assume that if you have a very important job, so say for example, you work uh, for the government or something and you have a lot of important data on your phone and you wanna make sure that your iPhone is in the most protected mode it can be in, uh, you may wanna turn on lockdown mode. So if you click on learn more, it links you to support.apple.com. There is no actual link yet, uh, but if you wanna turn it on, you can see it tells you a little bit more about what it will do. So you can see it says most message attachments are blocked. It says incoming FaceTime calls from people you have not previously called are blocked. It says some web technologies and browsing features are turned off. It says shared albums are removed from the Photos app. Uh, wired connections with another device and accessories are turned off. And incoming invitations from Apple services such as support and screen sharing are blocked. And also configuration profiles are uh, off and cannot be installed. So if you wanna turn it on, it does require a restart as you can see here. So again, if you have a uh, very important job or if you have a lot of uh, private data on your iPhone that you need to make sure is protected, lockdown mode is here and it's a extreme security mode. We also have a bunch of changes regarding the wallpaper and lock screen. So first up inside settings, if you click on wallpaper, you can see at the bottom, we have a new prompt that tells you you can change your wallpaper right from the lock screen. You also get a little animation there at the bottom, which is nice. And you can also see here in this preview inside of settings, it no longer shows a live preview of your home screen. Instead, it just shows the uh, outline of gray widgets and icons. That way you can see a preview of your current wallpaper better. And also new is we have a completely new font on the lock screen for iOS 16. So we actually have two new fonts as Apple has brought a previous font back from iOS 15. So if I go here and click on customize, you can see we have a new font right here. I like the way it looks. It looks pretty sophisticated in my opinion. And we also have the previous thin font from iOS 15 if you like the look of that one as well. And another update, whenever you edit your lock screen, whenever you hit done, you get a new prompt at the bottom asking if you wanna set it as a wallpaper pair or if you wanna customize your home screen wallpaper to be a different wallpaper. So you just have a bit more control every single time you edit your lock screen. And also new in beta two, when you're swiping between your lock screens, you can see here that the weather lock screen no longer gives you a preview. So you can see it's gray and it only updates to show you the current weather as soon as you click on it. This is kind of nice because in beta two, it would actually freeze and it would show you a screenshot of a weather forecast that was no longer relevant. So as you can see here, when I press and hold, it goes back to a gray screen and it only updates and gets the current weather forecast as soon as you choose it as your wallpaper. Another change is on the astronomy lock screen. So in beta two, Apple added the option where you could see your current location on earth with this small green dot. And now the green dot disappears when you go to your home screen. So in beta two, it was kind of weird how you could have that green dot showing in between your app icons. You could kind of see it on the earth, but now it only shows up on the lock screen. I think this is a nice change. And another change here in beta three has to do with the depth overlapping effect on a wallpaper. So previously in beta two, this was a little bit buggy. As soon as you would grab the bottom to unlock, the depth effect would glitch out and disappear. But now it's a lot smoother and it's more fine tuned. So as you can see here, if I grab the bottom of the screen and then pull it back down, you can see it kind of overlaps a lot smoother. So as you can see, the eight is going right behind the mountain a lot smoother. In beta two, it would just kind of flash and glitch out. But now the depth effect is a a lot more fine-tuned and it works a lot better. Inside of settings, general and about, if you click on iOS version, as you can see here, the page has been slightly redesigned. Beta 3 also finally brings support for iCloud shared photo library. So inside settings, if you click on photos, there is a new option here for shared library. So if we click on it here, we can choose setup. So if we click on start setup, we have a few options. So you can add participants. So who's gonna be able to see your library? Uh, we'll skip this for now. 
and then you can choose which photos are in the library. So all of your photos, you can choose based on people that appear in the photos or based on when the photos were taken, or you can also choose each photo and video manually if you want to. Uh, we're gonna click on move photos later. And then it's gonna ask who you want to be in the library. So you can choose members of your family or just anybody from your contacts. So we'll click on invite later. And this is probably the coolest new setting inside of shared photo library is the share from camera toggle. So you can see it says add photos and video directly into your shared library with a library button inside the camera. And the camera will automatically turn on this toggle when you are in the vicinity of people that are in your library. So once you have your shared library set up, it lives here inside of photo settings. You can click on it here. Now I didn't add anybody to my shared library yet. It just shows me as the owner. When I jump into the Photos app, if you click on this menu here at the top right, you can see both libraries, personal library or shared library. So this is really nice. You can now have your own library with your personal photos and you can also have a shared photo library with people of your family, for example. And here inside the camera app, here is a look at the uh, toggle. So if we click on this button at the top left, you can see we can choose a shared library. And then if we turn it off, you can see it says personal library right there. So really nice. And again, this will turn on automatically if you are in the vicinity of people in your library. And another change that was brought in beta two that users are now experiencing with the update to beta three is you can now download iOS updates over cellular. So users on the iOS beta subreddit have said that when they downloaded beta three over 5G, it downloaded very quickly. So this is just a nice update to have. If you have unlimited data, you can now download your software updates using your mobile connection. And something I noticed on beta three, I could be completely wrong. This may have been present in previous betas is with the stock iOS 16 wallpaper. I'm noticing if you watch the uh, bottom left corner of this wallpaper, I'm noticing a slight animation when I unlock, it kind of moves a bit. Uh, this may have been present in previous betas, but you can tell me in the comments below. Another change in beta three, as you can see here in this screenshot is iPad OS 16. When you click on the multitasking menu at the top is a lot easier to understand. It no longer just shows three icons. It now gives a description as to what button does. And another change is some iPhone 13 users on beta three are noticing an all new wallpaper. So this user here on Twitter noticed an all new clownfish wallpaper. Uh, he said it looks like it's only for the iPhone 13 series. I have the iPhone 13 mini, but if I go here to wallpaper, add new wallpaper, and I go to collections, I'm not seeing any new clownfish wallpaper. So check your device, maybe you have that new wallpaper, but it's not showing up for me. And unfortunately, a feature that Apple previewed at WWDC, this full screen now playing UI on the lock screen is still not present in beta three. I don't know how long it's gonna take Apple to implement this as I would really like to have this full screen album art when I'm playing music. However, it's not here yet in beta three. And one more very quick change reported here by a user on the subreddit is it looks like there is an all new audio tone that plays when you activate Siri using CarPlay. So that's gonna do it for all the changes and updates in iOS 16 developer beta three. If I miss anything, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments down below. If you guys found this video interesting or informative, make sure to drop a like on it below. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you next time.